Hello and welcome to Metra AV Tech Tip Solutions, where we talk about one of our products based on last episode. That's right. I'm Brent. I'm Adam. Welcome aboard. So, yeah. Adam. What are we talking about today? Well, as if I didn't know. Yeah, of course. So last Wednesday, we had our episode about IR extenders and the difference between 5 volt and 12 volt and all that kind of good stuff. So we, talk, we wanted to talk about this Friday, of course. And like, as always, our Wednesday episodes, we get good content out to you, the dealers out in the field. Whereas Fridays were, uh, is a day that we use to talk specifically about our product. So And how it can help you make money and get your jobs done. Exactly. So today we are talking about, and hit this button dun, over here dun, to make it all dun. work correctly. Uh, and if it's not My timing is definitely not working today. Uh, no, it's not. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the CSIRCC. So the CSIRCC is just a simple IR connecting cable. Um, it goes from a stereo connection to a mono connection on the other end. Or, or a mono connection to a stereo to connection, a stereo connection which on is the, the other end. Which is more normal for what it's meant to be used for. So what I'm going to do, Brent, is I'm going to give us a top-down shot okay. uh, so we can take a look at this product Ooh. as well. Uh, let's see, we'll go over here like this. Look so at that, that. you've got there. it beautifully centered. It, it looks wonderful, You can see the package, right? it's glossy, So and it's got the easy open bottom. It does have the easy Resealable. open bottom. Now, I did already open this one. We used it on the episode on Wednesday, so that one's already open, but normally it's just a tear-off piece there, and then, of course, we got the back of it there now, as well. one of the things that's very nice about our packaging before mm -hmm. we get into the product. Sure. One of the nice things is, a, all the packages, typically a smaller bag will fit into a bigger bag into a bigger bag. Right. So you can keep a record of all the parts you use on a job. Yeah, that way you and can go back and- we recommend that you do that so you're not giving away money. Yeah, exactly. So that, that way you can go ahead and make sure that all of that winds up onto your actual quote. So this is the cable itself here. It's pretty straightforward. Brent, do you know off the top of your head how long this cable is? It is two meters. Two meters. How long is two meters, Brent? Well, no, In it's feet. not two meters. I was wrong. It is- one, one meter. One meter. One there meter. You go. And it's meant to go inside of a rack or outside, not to be too big. Mm -hmm. So what do we use a stereo plug and a mono plug to do, Adam? Well, the main reason that we have this here is to, to use it with a 12 volt IR system where you would have an automation system like Control 4 or Crestron or anybody else, or even just a standard IR extending block to where the output of those the, uh, of the IR on those devices, the emitter ports, the emitter ports are, are mono, 3.5. You've got your, uh, pardon me, you have your signal and ground. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, on the other side, you would normally have the input on a 12 volt system be a stereo 3.5 connection instead, where you would and have- And why would you have a stereo 3.5 connection? Well, normally you have 12 volt uh, power on the base of the 3.5 on those types of connections. For the IR receiver. For the IR receiver to power it. So instead, what we don't want to have on the output of an IR system is 12 volt power, correct? Right, because you'll burn up an emitter Exactly. Port. We don't want to do that. So that's where this cable comes into play. You run your uh, the output from your control system and from the mono side, and then you run the other side into something like our IR kit CCUS or the or IR kit one US. HD base T extender. Or an HD base T extender, yep. That uses a 12 volt uh, application or an IR system in order to extend that through that without doing any kind of splicing or, or you know. Now, let's say you're running an HD base T, one of our really awesome 4K HDR base T systems. Right. And you need to come out of the single emitter port on the receiver into multiple IR emitters. Yes. So you would come out of the emitter port on the extender mm -hmm. into say an IR port on a device like this. Right. One of our connecting block kits to the receiver port, which can give you up to six emitters. Yep. Yeah. Lots of flexibility. Yeah, and lots of flexibility. And it makes your installation look really good because you don't have to have a bunch of butt connectors right. or soldering and a bunch and of tape and whatever else. too, because you're not yeah. having to cut things and guess things and meter things. Yeah, you don't have to think about, oh, well, which which way is it done? If I cut this open, is the red wire the one that I need? Is the blue wire the one so that, that I need? So does that mean this should be in their toolkits? This should be in your toolkits. And, and not just one of them. Of course, yeah, get a pack of these, uh, uh, how they come. Reach out to your, uh, your sales rep or your distributor to find out availability and pricing. Um, but this is the CS-IRCC. It's available now and very, find out- Very reasonably priced. Very and reasonably priced. absolute yep. problem solver and job speeder upper. Yes, job speeder. That's that's uh, that's a very good way to it's describe it. It's a technical that. term. It's a speeder upper. <laughs> that's a speeder upper. Definitely track this piece down, throw it into your toolbox, have multiple of these on the job site. It keeps everything nice and clean. It's very quick to install it and it keeps things working the way that they should correctly. Absolutely. All right. Adam. Brent. Have a wonderful day. You as well. We'll see you all later. See you all next week.